put the heel down. All right, everybody, here we are, Guess in the West show, episode number 10. Jonathan just got here. We're about to go live as he sets up. Let's make sure that we are ready. How's that look? Oh, I need to put the I need to put the camera down a little. All right, let's see if we can get uh, James in there. So that way, it's just not all me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, is this okay? You might want to get closer. So just kind of get yourself situated. Uh, Carrie's, we might have to do like super quick because she has to be back by now. Does she want to go before James? Yeah. Does she want to go before me? Let me see. That's okay with James? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Oh, uh, James, you want to give this to Jonathan? He'll have you uh, put all your info in. A little, little, little gray out there. In Houston? All right, Jonathan. Ready to roll. Um, so he's going to go second, I think, now. Cause okay. So, yeah, just make sure my Facebook Live is still rolling. Let me know. Last time it stopped after like 10 seconds. What am I supposed to do? Do I go up there? No, no, no. Just, <laughs> do, can you look behind it and see that it's still on? Oh. Do you even know what you're going to ask me? Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, live. Nice. All right. Oh, Hello? so, so, so simply, uh, why don't you share your story a little <laughs> bit? So that can be a little personal. Or you want to talk about your upbringing in the Houston West Chamber okay. of Commerce? And then it'll be, so what are you excited about that's happening here in 2020 with, uh, with kind of your new role and the chamber? And so feel free to chat. I will already though, just so you know, I'm already gonna introduce all the happenings on February's calendar. Oh, you take off, did you take off chamber celebration? We now have it in March. I, um, it's not even on there. Oh, good, good, good. Even yeah, because they, we removed it. Yeah, that's okay, it happens. Um, and so you'll want to sit tight. You, you, it, um, as Jonathan says, it's like you're eating the mic. Oh. So you'll want to get in tight. <laughs> uh, just so you know. Okay. There we go. Um, and then we can move it closer if you'd like. Right, Jonathan? This thing yeah. moves. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. See that, Carrie? Oh. 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 oh, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, okay. that's fine. So, and, and then just so you're aware, I will be talking loud in the studio. Just because I have a tendency to move my face too much. So gotcha. If I'm Do I over have to here, talk about you? If you want to. Okay. Um, but just don't be afraid by that. I don't want you to be like, oh my gosh, it's no, yelling at me. No, oh, I won't. I'm not worried. This stuff doesn't make me nervous because there's nobody out here. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> so we'll do it real quick. Sure, we'll do his five minute intro, right? We'll five talk minute about intro. how Houston's a great place to work, live, and play. We'll cut for a break. And oh, and we'll announce. This we can talk. Stuff. I'll talk about Chamber Celebration. What else can I talk about? Uh, chamber celebration, the golf alley, golf. right? Yes, golf. So, where are we going? All right. Jonathan, I'm ready, my man. Right. Let's, let's do it. I don't know what I'll say, but we'll yeah. Go so, with it. Jonathan, me, I'll go for my five minutes, mm -hmm. three minutes probably. Yep. Uh, then we'll take a break. Yep. Uh, sponsorship, and yep. then come to Carrie. Yep. Introduce her. Mm -hmm. Take a break. And Hi, I'm Carrie. Hi. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Um, and then, and then we'll come and we'll finish it off with our main man. James. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. End with a bang. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Does that give you enough time? Yeah. I'm coming over to at ten thirty. I know, I had to right. change it because another meeting came up. So we're gonna I'm gonna see if you can do Monday. Okay. All right. Well, let's do this first. Monday sounds good. What time? I think I said eleven. Ten thirty. Okay. Time. Because Richard said he could he had to cancel too. So I'm sorry. I'll do it. Are you, are you ready? Whatever. He's uh. He's <laughs> oh, you guys see him in there? Okay. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna look at you. I'm not looking yeah, at you. Yeah. I don't even know what to give it. It's the one right to the two, right? I don't know. Is this the mic? Good morning, everybody. Sherman here from Mutual Omaha. This is Guest in the West show. It's episode number 10. We made it to double digits. We're excited about that, everybody. Thanks for everybody that's chimed in, giving your thoughts. Thanks for all of our guests who came and shared their story. We are excited the collaboration between the Houston West Chamber of Commerce and Now Media. Thank you for Jonathan and producing this show. Really appreciate all that he does and helping us move forward. So one of the great things we want to be able to make sure that you're aware of here at the Houston West Chamber of Commerce, if you go to hwcoc.org slash events, you can pull up the calendar. And I printed this off, everybody, as part of my to-dos and, and, and every new month. And I'll look at the different activities that are happening, all the wonderful events. And you look at this, there's a lot going on at the Houston West Chamber of Commerce. And so um, whether you're a morning person, afternoon, in the middle of the lunch, and the evening, there is an activity or an event for you. So one of the things that we wanna remind people today, February 5th, um, over the noon hour is the Chamber Orientation. A wonderful, um, organization, um, a wonderful event to go to if you're new to the Chamber or if you haven't been to the Chamber in a while and you wanna know what's going on, the different committees that you can get involved with, and then um, we do have a ribbon cutting coming up this Friday, um, the 7th, for Miracle Wands. I uh, want to encourage all of our members to be able to go and welcome that new member into the fold, so to speak. Um, also note that the office is going to be closed February 17th, with it being President's Day, National Holiday. And then um, mm -hmm. next week, there are um, uh, several committee meetings that are meeting Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, Thursday, though, is that lunch networking event. So it's the Chambers Connection Lunch. And then, um, so would encourage everybody, if you want to know what's happening, go to the website, hwcoc.org slash events, and then you can find it there. Um, and what I like to do for my ritual for the month or for actually two months is I will go out and I will register already for all the various events. And if I can't make it the week of, if something came up, then I will just shoot an email and say, hey, can you deregister me, unregister me? Whatever that word might be, so that way they, don't, they can uh, open up the spot for someone else just because I want to be respectful of some of, some of the, sometimes there's a limited space. So I want to be able to encourage you to check out the new members, check out the wonderful events that are happening here in February. Mm -hmm. um, excited about today's lineup, everybody. We're going to have the president, the new president, Carrie Warner, here joining us here in the studio after the first commercial break. And I'm um, excited to hear what her thoughts are on uh, 2020. She recently celebrated her 24th birthday um, during the West Houston Outlook 2020 event. And so we're excited to, uh, to see what um, she's going to be able to do to take uh, the Houston West Chamber of Commerce to the next level. Uh, so to speak. Um, and so as you know, I'm a big supporter of Houston being a great place to live, work, and play. And a lot of you know, this is casual Sherm. So uh, the boot is on, broke a, broke a bone in my foot, it is official. And so one thing that I want to say that, you, that I can't necessarily show you is that the people in Houston are amazingly nice. No exaggeration. Yesterday, I'm walking into my building, double glass doors. These things are pretty heavy. And as a, a, a young woman, she's walking out with a group of friends. They're going to go grab lunch. She not only holds the door for me, but then proceeds to pass me, walk, walk behind, grab the next door for me to walk through. And um, that was just thoughtful. She's totally going in the opposite direction. Took the minute, 30 seconds of whatever it took her to be able to do that. That's the thoughtfulness of the people in Houston. I don't know if it's um, necessarily because of some of the disasters that we have, but if you look at Hurricane Harvey or the recent uh, uh, tropical storm of Milda, you can read about countless um, events where, or individuals that went out of their way, different different businesses that went out of their way to be able to help their neighbor, help the local community, help people, complete strangers. It was strangers helping strangers. And you see that throughout the Houston area. Um, and you have multitude of just different um, conversations and stories like that. And so um, if you haven't been to Houston, I, I, I'd give you the chance, come check it out. I heard somebody actually decided to retire in Houston. Um, and we'll talk to James. Uh, he might share a little bit of that story with us a little bit later. Um, Dad was from England, by the way, and decided to retire here in this amazing city. And so that's what you feel. There's this culture of openness because of the diversity that exists, the various cultures and ethnicities and people of different nationalities, all congregating here in the great city of Houston. And they're helpful. 
because someone was helpful for them. And that's the culture that exists here in Houston. So as you are thinking about what you might want to be doing when you've graduated high school or college, or you're in a transition and you're like Robert Frost and you're in that poem, you're going to take the road less traveled. Come over here to Houston. You're going to find a great place. And so we're excited. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here, and then we're going to bring on the president of the Houston West Chamber of Commerce. Excited to hear what Carrie has to say. So first here, a word from our sponsor. All right. How long is that there we go. So this is about uh, 60 seconds. Oh, oh, look at there. Mm -hmm. And then he'll, <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll tell us. He'll count us down. 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay. And, and then his hand. There. Yeah, and then I intro. Bam. All right. All right. Was I saying um a lot? No. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good on the fly. That's how you gotta be. Especially there's not a lot of ton of people out there, so you don't really get nervous. You know? No, it doesn't. It's just as long as you don't get nervous by like See, a see camera lens. I was you know, opera singer. That's what my major was. So I was just seeing in front of people. I'm easier to sing. Well, used to be than I was to speak. Yeah. Now I'm amazed. See, I'm opera singer. Yeah. That's unique. Where have you been then? What cities? I went to University of Miami uh, as an opera major. Yeah. They go well. So, um, I never did anything with it. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I mean, I friend, sang weddings. I have a stuff. friend that's what she does. She's an opera singer. Oh, awesome. But it's a freaking poor life. It don't pay good for opera singers. Yeah, she Unless you're like way up there. there. Well, here I am as a <laughs> chamber employee. That's right. There you go. Are you going to sing that sometime for no. us? No. I would like to hear that. Make that we will tell them if we want to yeah, solo later. They, they, they can hear us out there. The, oh. In the studio. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! Keep putting that on Facebook. Here we go. All right. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Here we go. <clears throat> Welcome back to Guests in the West Show. I'm Sherman, your host from Mutual of Omaha. Excited to have in the hot seat this morning, Carrie Warner, the new president of the Houston West Chamber of Commerce. So Carrie, there might be one or two people that watch this that might not know who you are. So why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Well, I'm Carrie Warner with the Houston West Chamber of Commerce, uh, recently appointed president, um, and I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. All right, well, um, tell us a little bit about your story because this is a new pr um, position for you. And so kind of just tell people who might not know kind of where you came from and those things. So I am an implant uh, to Houston here from Miami, Florida. I moved here about five and a half years ago. My husband got an amazing opportunity and decided to transport us all here. <laughs> uh, we love it. Um, I got just a job when I started here just to do something and uh, a mutual friend said, hey, I know Judy Bollinger at the chamber and why don't you come on by? I'd love for you to meet her. So, you know, I was hired as a retention specialist and from there I just kind of done all the different roles there and here I am. So, so you really have taken on a, a variety of different uh, positions at the Chamber and ultimately one of the things I know the tagline is to help businesses um, in business. So kind of tell a little bit about to the audience what does that mean for you especially now that you're the president of Houston West Chamber of Commerce what does that tagline kind of mean to you guys? So we're in business for business. Um, one of the things when I started the Chamber is what is a Chamber of Commerce? Um, I really didn't understand how it worked and what we're here to do is to really help business network and help grow their business, um, introducing people. Uh, for example, you're here and, and you're gonna introduce so many different members to the chamber through um, this awesome opportunity through the podcast and give them the opportunity to tell them what their business is all about and hopefully build their business. And that's what we're here for in business for business. Gotcha, so really helping uh, businesses have an awareness, be able to connect. I know that's probably a lot of times people end up calling in, they wanna know, hey, do you know someone that does this, right? That Absolutely. has expertise. That's why it's so important to really take advantage of your membership and get involved. If somebody asks me, hey, I'm looking for, um, Someone that can build my uh, website or someone that's in the internet world. We know that we can who can we can refer to So it's very important to really utilize your membership and get involved because that's how people uh, get to know you That well, and, I, and I'll be honest that that was I took your advice from a chamber orientation And that's what I did I got involved went to some different committees and saw what what did I like? What would make sense for me and ultimately who we are as an organization and that's uh, been uh, really good advice. So, so thank are you coming to orientation today? <laughs> I, I can't today because I'm running a, my own business development uh, oh. uh, class, but yes. 
Awesome. Uh, other times, I love the orientation. It's a, just a great way to meet some new members. Um, so then, as we, as you think about kind of what's happening in 2020 for the Houston West Chamber, um, why would someone want to choose this chamber over others? Kind of, how does this Houston West Chamber of Commerce kind of stack up? Well, there's over 50 different chambers in the Houston area. Um, we're on the west side. Uh, we cover probably one of the largest areas in Houston. We cover all the way out from Highway 6 to Greenway Plaza, all the way up to Bellway 8, down to 59. Okay. Um, so we encompass uh, Energy Corridor, um, A Leaf Spring Branch, Memorial City, Galleria Green, Greenway Plaza. Um, and if you're trying to do business in any of those locations, this is the chamber that you want to be part of. Not to mention the staff is amazing, everybody is so friendly, and we, we have so many events and so many different opportunities for you to get involved and get out there and really introduce yourself and meet other members of our chamber. That's why we have our calendar, and if you thank you for pulling that up, um, you can see there's so many things to go to. Uh, we can't expect you to go to everything, uh, but there is something for everyone, and it's just a great way to get involved. And that, that's a great thing just to be able to emphasize there is that the, the chamber really has events and they look at it, is it adding value to our members? Is it giving them the exposure they need? Is it connecting them in a way that's meaningful? And if not, it seems like you guys are more than willing to go and do something different. Every event is, is geared towards a different type of business owner. We have events that are for our small business owners. We have our really large events that are for our big, gigantic business owners. Um, so th there's something for everyone. There definitely is. There's no reason why not one business here in the Houston area would not benefit from joining our chamber. And, and then that, that's something that's really significant, I think, that if you, whether you're a solopreneur, right, one employee, or you have a thousand, there's a lot of value to be a member of the Houston West Chamber of Commerce versus some others where, man, in order to kind of pay to play, you need to be pretty large in order to cover some of those costs. Absolutely, and we wanna make sure that we're there to, to offer that to every uh, different type of business owner, from large to small. Gotcha. Is there anything in particular, Carrie, that you're very excited about that's gonna be happening here in 2020? Um, there's so much to be excited about. Um, we. I have an amazing staff. We've got some great events coming up. Our chamber celebration, which just to see the excitement on on the team's face about you know what we're doing and the ideas that they have, is really encouraging. And it makes me so proud to be part of, of the team that I have. Um, they're all amazing. Um, we have chamber celebration coming up March nineteenth. So I know we had a first date coming up in February, which we had to change. Um, and of course, we have the wonderful golf event coming up April twentieth, four twenty. Um, so we're really excited about that too, and just everything that we have going on every day of the week. So today's orientation, tomorrow's coffee talk, Friday we have a ribbon cutting, and it just goes on and on. So. Yeah, and that's just wonderful. I think there's a lot of things that if someone wants to get exposure, they want to get known, whether it's for themselves or for their business, this, there's a multitude of different events that they should be putting themselves at and being able to get them in their business in front of people. Absolutely, and check out our website. Uh, if you're someone that wants to get out there and speak and be part of one of our events, we want to hear from you. There's um, all those uh, uh, drop downs in our website. You can go on if you're really interested in being a speaker for Coffee Talk. Um, you can send in your application to do so. Um, and just coming to orientation, we'd love to hear from you, and we, we, we hope that you all can show up if you are a new business. Well. Yeah, wonderful. Well, today, uh, over the lunch hour, hopefully uh, those of you that uh, maybe didn't have it on your calendar can make, the, make it there today. Uh, one thing you mentioned, staff, I have to give a shout out to Monica, uh, just because this was something unique. Like, um, so a, a lot of times you can't train people to do certain things, right? You just find the right talent. You say, hey, why don't you see if you can be a good fit for us? And so last week, um, if you guys you might not know this, I was hobbling around with crutches and Monica saw this. She had a friend that had actually fractured their foot, had a scooter. So she asked me, hey, you know, the scooter is a lot easier to get around. Is that something you'd want? And I said, yeah, I was going to buy one, but they're like 120 bucks. And I'm like, I'm only on this thing for six weeks. I can endure crutches. And she goes, well, if you want, I know he probably still has it. So she literally, as we're just waiting out here, she gets on the phone, makes a phone call, and long and short of it that um, she went and picked it up like that night or the, di the following day, went 20 minutes one way out of her way, picked it up, brought it back. I, she, she wasn't getting paid by anything. She just did it out of the niceness of her heart, called me up the next day, was like, hey, Sherm, got the scooter in my trunk. I have the best time. And so th that, that, kind of, um, that kind of staff, that kind of going above and beyond, um, sure, was it because she's helping a stranger and a stranger? Sure. Did it help that I'm a member of the chamber? Absolutely. So as we think about these things, it's not so much what I'm going to get out of it for my own ROI. She helped me have a scooter, and now I'm able to get around and have mobility. Yeah. There's a with with hands, uh, crutches. They're just they're just mm -hmm. difficult. So 
um, that that Carrie to me enc encompasses the wonderful staff that you got that you guys have at the chamber, which is amazing. And I encourage everyone to come on by this, the the chamber office, one zero three seven five Richmond Avenue. We're in Suite two sixty five. Our door is always open. We always have fun. We are always having fun. So come on in and meet us. You will be greeted by one of the crazy ladies in the office: <laughs> myself, Jeannie, Michelle, Shonda, Devin, Karina, or Monica, and. Um, we have a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, it's it doesn't feel like a job. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. It's awesome. And then so l last thing um, as a final note, if there's anybody that's thinking about joining the Houston West Chamber of Commerce, what's kind of your thoughts for them to have a look at this as the place to be? Well, you know, we encourage everyone to come and check it out. We never want anybody to feel like they're forced into becoming members of our chamber. Um, that's why it's so important that, you know, we offer that opportunity for you to come. Come to three events, see if it's something that you're interested in. Meet our staff, meet our, our members. And you'll feel that familyness that, that, that makes our members want to be part of our chamber. Um, and ask questions. Um, you will find everything you need in our chamber. And if not, we can tell us what it is that you want and let's see what we can do to make that happen for you. Wonderful. Carrie, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate all that you're doing as the president of the Houston West Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, everybody, and we're going to bring on James from the Houston Dynamo. All right. All right, cool. Thanks, Carrie. That was cool. Wonderful. Buddy. I know you, get, you, get, you need to get rolling. I know. We have the orientation today, and then I sent an email, because I thought I did it yesterday, but Richard Nevins just said, did you do it? Because he can't come. Yeah. So I said, okay, I think Monday at 10, 30, 11 is what I did. Okay, she cool. She is beauty. She is grace. She is Miss United States. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> you need to ride. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. You did so well. Have Thank fun. You. Good Thank to see you, you again. You you did so well. All right, James, you ready for this? I think so. I hope so. Do, do, do you remember the events, or do you need to pull out your, your notebook? Uh, yeah. Just making sure. There's so much going on here. Yeah. All right, so that's it, man. That's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Talk a little loud. Okay. You probably heard me out there. <laughs> no, yeah, I did. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, so, so the the one thing I tell people is sit up straight and you're talking louder than normal, just because you're trying to get it out the way. It, it's podcast, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want it to transition over, and then then, then people being like, oh, I can't hear this person. Now they're increasing yeah. the volume, so it just makes it more or less. Um, do you need me to loosen yeah. it a little bit? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, where do you want it? Uh, there, there. Ten seconds. Welcome back to Guests in the West show. This is your host, Sherman from Mutual of Omaha. Excited to have guests from across the pond, James, uh, at the Houston Dynamo. So James, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to the audience here? Hello, Sherman. Uh, thank you for um, having me. My name is uh, James Kushney, and um, I'm uh, with the Houston Dynamo. Uh, as you can tell with the accent, yes, I'm not from uh, East Texas. Um, <laughs> I uh, actually grew up in England. Um, my father was in uh, the uh, finance industry, and we spent a lot of time here in Houston. And um, he was with Texas Commerce uh, in the uh, late 70s and the early 80s, and he was always a big fan of Houston, knew it was a growing, upcoming city and um, brought us all back, me and my two brothers, brought us back in 02. And, um, and yeah, we've been, been here ever since and I've been able to see some transition of uh, Houston itself in, yeah. in that time and just how much it's grown. Well, I'm sure you've seen a lot of, a lot of growth since uh, 2002. Um, so one of the unique things, uh, James, is that now you're with the Houston Dynamo, but that's not where your story began. No. <laughs> so, so tell the people what you've been doing the last, uh, you know, 16 years or so. Yeah, so actually <laughs> I was with Wells Fargo Bank um, and I was with the, in the retail um, sector with Wells Fargo for about eight years and then transitioned to business banking. So mm -hmm. I, was, um, I started developing my business acumen and my business clientele and uh, my, my sort of love for growing business relationships with, with people and um, learning more about their business and, and being of a, a tool for them. And now in my new position with sports, I get to, I get to use a game that I love of 
of soccer, well, I call it football. Yes. <laughs> um, and just uh, being a resource tool for them in their business. Yeah. And so does it does it feel weird? Do you feel like you're um, abandoning your roots of Crystal Palace versus uh, the Houston Dynamo? <laughs> definitely not. No, definitely not. Hopefully, maybe one day there will be. I, I will get lucky enough to uh, see them come here to Houston. We we have been blessed with with some great exciting teams in uh, Houston. And we're actually, uh, we will be playing uh, Cruz Azul uh, March 27th. And um, that's an exciting game that there's a big team in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be a upcoming game. Um, but, but no, I still uh, keep in touch with my local team. Every Saturday morning, I'll, I'll, I'll get to wake up and eat, eat, eat my breakfast, have my coffee, and, and I'll get to watch them. <laughs> All right. Now, now, a lot of people are, that might not be familiar, of course, the English Premier really is the echelon, right? Uh, worldwide, yes. globally. Uh, of, of athletes, but you were telling me that the MLS is really starting to gain some global uh, recognition. So kind of yeah. maybe talk a little bit about that. Yes, well, of course, a lot of people think of Major League Soccer as the retirement league. Oh, that's where everyone goes to retire. But what we're seeing now is a transition that because of the, the athletic talent pool that is the United States, kids are, and kids are, are actually staying in soccer. And, and that's only continuing. The coaching is getting better, the facilities are getting better, and um, that's actually causing, well, it's building attraction from the big clubs, and they're starting to, to um, develop their academies and their camps over here. Mm -hmm. and, and it's exciting. We're seeing a lot of young youth that are getting picked up from not only our local academies and bettering our league, but they're actually going across the pond at a younger age, which is really exciting. That is amazing. Yeah. So I know that here in Houston, though, specifically, it's not just if um, you guys don't just play the Dynamo. Mm -hmm. Who else is also playing at that pitch? So we've got the um, Houston Dash as well. They are our women's profession, uh, professional soccer team, and uh, they're just as exciting as our U.S. women's, which we just had um, this last week. Um, their season kicks off in early spring, so we're, we're I believe, in early April we should be kicking off. And uh, yeah, we're, we're nothing but getting excited and ready for, for both seasons. Uh, the Dynamo, we kick off n later this month okay. on the 29th of February, and we will be hosting LA Galaxy. So that's the, Ooh, big, wow. uh, the big team that are coming in. We, we, uh, we will be Chicharito's first MLS date, well, his MLS debut. We'll oh, be here exciting. in Houston, so it's definitely exciting. That is. So then what's interesting is that um, there's a lot of, you, you mentioned some, um, the U.S. women's played at the, um, over at the mm -hmm. BBVA stadium, right? Or is it yes. 76 stadium? No, um, yeah, BBVA stadium. <laughs> um, and, then, and then, of course, the Dynamo, the Dash. How can someone keep, um, just uh, if, they're, if they, you know, a fan of soccer, they're a fan of football, how can they stay up to date with what's all the different events that are happening there at the stadium? Well, we have a great uh, um, so social media um, uh, a following. You can follow our, our, we have a YouTube channel, we have uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, and, and our internet. It, no, I'm sorry, our, web, our website is a great way just to stay updated with everything. But also um, with the ESPN Plus, we'll uh, have, our, have our away games, mm. if you are a member of ESPN Plus. Oh, that's great. Um, so really allows people to really stay, um, become fans and yes. follow as, as things progress throughout the season. Exactly. Now, I know that you focus more on helping businesses, just like you did at Wells Fargo for several years, mm -hmm. um, helping businesses kind of create a brand awareness, some really unique opportunities. So talk a little bit about what, what you're doing there at the Houston Dynamo there. So the exciting thing is what I do is I, I'm able to offer a business and um, a uh, basically an environment to host not only just their employees I can I, I can give them an environment of live action sports um, for their prospects for their clients for their vendors um, and it's just uh, just all about being uh, how we could be a tool for their business uh, with uh, hospitality we we have some uh, great amazing suites that are close to the pitch we have our pitch side patio uh, we have a, a Sky Lounge that, that is also in our stadium and our great uh, humongous uh, uh, Heineken Star Bar, mm -hmm. which is able to uh, host a great, exciting event. And what's, what's unique, although a, a large stadium, it still feels like you're very close to the action, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, the uh, great thing is, is 
we we're big enough for for a good professional size sports at sports entertainment uh, um, environment, but we're also um, cl and close niche enough to where there's not a bad sea in the house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like sometimes, uh, no offense, but in the Houston Astros, I, I had like the last seat, literally the last seat where the AC Ducks are, and, and you're so far away. Uh, um, like, yeah. like, so, so really you are just there for the, for the environment absolutely. and the fans, really. Yeah. Which is still a cool thing to experience. Yeah, it's absolutely. Still, it's still as fun, yeah. Well, oh, and then, so um, I know that you had mentioned uh, over the break that there's uh, an event coming for people to be um, kind of on the business side if they, to kind of get like a, I, I want to call it a tour, but you kind of explained to it. Yeah, yeah, so it's actually our sit and see event. Um, so it's an opportunity for uh, business members to uh, um, come out down to the stadium. Um, we will um, host them out for like a private tour. Um, and we can show you kind of the hospitality areas um, that you can uh, kind of like um, create your own event. I like to say it has, um, I can give you the keys to the stadium and then you can kind of create your own um, a company event. Uh, and also uh, I can kind of like sneak you in and give you like a explore around the backstage like around the um, uh, locker rooms, trophy case, and all that as well. Yeah. So it's a it, exciting time as well. And we will be hosting, um, we'll have availability of uh, food that, that will be on the menu for this season. Well, that sounds great. So when is that sip and see taking place? That's going to be on the uh, February 20th. At, sure, sure. Uh, from 5.30 to 7. Okay, so perfect. After, after a long day of work, can come and check out the Dynamo and all the, the, the trappings there. The nice thing is you look at the overall cost, it's a great bang for buck if you want to entertain clients in a really unique way. Um, do you also get involved with any sort of groups with, uh, hey, I want, to have a, I want to have a birthday party there, I want to be able to show my son who's into soccer, kind of a more unique experience than just going to the game? Yes, we do all sorts. We do uh, birthday parties. Um, I also... We also work with uh, uh, um, school associations. Uh, it's a, we're a, a great way for fundraising. Um, so for um, uh, university, college, uh, chapter associations, if they need help fundraising, nonprofits we work a lot with to uh, help um, brand awareness and also fundraising as well. So if someone can't make it to the SIP and see, and hey, they have more of a unique scenario, how can they reach out to you, uh, James, especially if they're maybe listening to this on a podcast, uh, how can they get in touch with you? Sure, you can reach out to me. Uh, hopefully my information will be running through the screen, but yeah, if, if you're in the car, um, you can look me up at um, Orange Experiences, and that is on, um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram, and you, you'll have to, excuse me, I am still growing my um, social media presence, so it's not <laughs> as professional as I would like it to be, but, <laughs> but uh, just give me some time. <laughs> and um, but, but, yes, yeah, so, so, or you can email me at jkushney, and the last name C-U-S-H-N-I-E, at houstondynamo.com. All right. Well, wonderful, James. Is there any um, last final thoughts? Um, you guys are active members of the Houston West Chamber of Commerce. Why is that an organization that you guys decided to be part of? It's from, we've actually been using it for uh, more than a couple of years now. And from, I've been with the organization since, um, since August. And it's just been a great way just for me to meet people and um, learn about more um, in industries and just see of, of how we can help each other um, sort of thing. All right, everybody. So definitely put it on your calendar, February 20th, Sip and See, starting at 5.30. You can reach out to James if you're listening to this podcast format, J-C-U-S-H-N-I-E at HoustonDynamo.com. Um, they have a lot going on. Dynamo is the men's league. Yeah. Dash is the women's league, and it sounds like they have a lot of different outside professional teams globally coming to the BBVA stadium. And so a lot of great opportunity to just really get involved with soccer, or as James calls it, football. So uh, now that this, uh, the football season's over, now the real football season starts, right? <laughs> Very true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, James, for coming in here on the Guest in the West show, uh, thanks, episode number 10. I um, want to thank Jonathan, our producer here at Now Media. I want to thank Juan and Nancy at the team here at Now Media Studios for allowing us to use this space. I want to thank Devin at the Houston West Chamber of Commerce uh, for organizing this. If you want to get on the Guest in the West show, please email her at events at hwcoc.org. Appreciate Car Carrie uh, Warner, the president, stopping by and sharing with us uh, her thoughts on Houston West Chamber of Commerce 2020. So uh, this is a show, everybody, and that's a wrap. 
Sherm's out. Thank right, you, man. Yeah, thank you for that. Hope it was okay. You <laughs> did a great job, man. Thank you. Hope you got, uh, got your story out that you wanted. Yeah, definitely. And if um if there's any other events that I have coming for, oh here you go. Well, another that we have uh, coming up, I'd love to come back on if that's possible. Yeah, Absolutely. Of Thank you, Devin. Yeah, let's get a picture real quick with you and Sherm. Great. Yeah. You gonna go in front of the signage out there? Huh? You gonna go in front of the signage out there? Yeah, right here. All right. That's the show, everybody. Oh, thank you. Thank you. As I'm hopping on one foot. All right. Jorge, Tuan, Minda, Ronnie, Devin, Rebecca, Rachel, Jesus, Jordan. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, Karina. Good to see you. Facebook Live, people. See ya.